All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Justin. This is Valley Hockey Talk. Today's big question is, is Phil Kessel a Hockey Hall of Famer? But first, I want to thank everyone for watching and remind everyone to please like and subscribe. It's much appreciated. All right. Is Phil Kessel a Hockey Hall of Famer? The reason I'm asking this question is because Phil Kessel on October 12th against the Colorado Avalanche is going to play his 1,000th NHL game. And when a player reaches 1,000 games, it's a huge accomplishment. Um, so I'd like to congratulate Phil Kessel on 1,000 games. Um, and it's a good time to take a look at their career up until this point. And usually by 1,000 games, it's easy to decide uh, if a player is going to be a Hockey Hall of Famer or not. So with Phil Kessel, um, he's a very polarizing figure in the NHL world. A lot of people like him. A lot of people don't like him. I'm going to get into all that in a second. And I'm also going to get into why he could be a Hockey Hall of Famer and why he might not be a Hockey Hall of Famer. So first, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Kessel. Um, so he's 32 years old. He's from Madison, Wisconsin. He's an American guy. Um, he played for the Boston Bruins. That's the team he was drafted to. He played for the Toronto Maple Leafs, where he spent most of his career. Then he went to the Pittsburgh Penguins. With pe the Penguins, he won two Stanley Cups. And then he was traded, most recently, to the Arizona Coyotes. So throughout Kessel's career, he's had a great career so far, point-wise. Um, he's scored 30 goals uh, in six seasons, so 30 or more goals in six seasons, which is really impressive. Um, and he has 824 points in 1,000 games, so that includes 357 goals and 467 assists. Uh, so just, you know, not too far off from a point per game, but definitely under that point per game mark at uh, 824 in 1,000 games. Uh, still an excellent season. Kessel's always been known as a great goal scorer, pure goal scorer. He's one of those guys that can just go down and score one of those easy goals. Uh, teams are always looking for guys that can go down and score easy goals. And they're kind of game-changing goals too because a lot of teams work really hard for their goals. And when you have Kessel on your team, um, it seems to make goals much easier. So with Phil Kessel, um, one of the reasons why he could be a Hockey Hall of Famer is because the Hockey Hall of Fame really loves when players win the Stanley Cup. They love putting champions in the Hockey Hall of Fame. That's why guys like Daniel Alverson have had such a hard time getting into the Hockey Hall of Fame, at least in my opinion, um, because Kessel has two Stanley Cups. That's going to go a long way. Now, he also has, like I said, 824 points, so they also really appreciate players that have 1,000 or more points, which I think in the next two or three seasons, Kessel will definitely cross, um, unless he's injured for a really long time. He kind of meets that criteria. So he's got the Stanley Cups, and he's got he, he will have over a thousand points and over a thousand games played. Um, and he'll probably be pretty close, if not have 500 goals, which is also really important. Um, one award that he has won is the Bill Masterson Trophy in 06, 07. Um, but he hasn't won any other major individual awards. So these are the things going for Kessel. He's been a very consistent player throughout his whole career, very consistent winger. He's put up great numbers in the playoffs and in the season. He's been on two Stanley Cup championship teams. Um, and he's got a good amount of points and a good amount of goals. So the things going against Kessel is that he's got um, more games played than points. So his points per game is lower than the amount of games he's played. And I don't see that changing. I, I can't see him putting up, you know, too many more 90, 100 point seasons uh, for the rest of his career. Like I said, he's 32 years old, so he's only getting older. Um, assumingly only getting a little bit slower, but we'll see what happens. Um, also, like I said, he's never won a major individual award, so he hasn't won a Conn Smythe, he hasn't won an MVP, he hasn't won you know, a Ted Lindsay, he hasn't won a Rocket Richard, he hasn't won a Selkie, uh, he hasn't won any of those major awards. Uh, so the Hockey Hall of Fame is full of guys that have won major awards. And uh, he also is kind of seen as a lazy player, uh, type of cherry picking type of guy. Uh, that's why people don't really like him, he's the hot dog eater, he's the lazy guy, he's just you know born with talent, but he doesn't actually work hard for it. Um, that's the kind of mentality that a lot of people think. Uh, players players love him or hate him. Managers and coaches love him or hate him. There never seems to be like a middle ground with Kessel. Uh, and just to kind of prove that he not isn't necessarily a great defensive player is he's a career negative 87, and he's played on a lot of good Pittsburgh teams. And I know when he was with the Leafs, they weren't that great, but still to be a career negative 87 is really bad. Um, and also... He also is a winger and he hasn't dominated. He hasn't been the main dominating player on a team that's played well. So in Toronto, he was the main offensive force, but they never played well. They never went far in the playoffs. They never really did anything with him as the main guy. It, when he went to Pittsburgh, Crosby and Malkin were the main guys on the team. So Crosby led the team to the two Stanley Cups. Kessel was a great piece, a great piece that helped out, but he wasn't the main driving force. So the only way that he's going to be a main driving force is now that he's with the Coyotes 
he's kind of seen as the main offensive threat on that team. Um, so if the Coyotes do well because of him, that might change some people's opinions. But until now, he's basically been a complimentary piece to guys like Crosby and Malkin. Um, and when he was in Toronto, uh, he didn't really show that much. And when he was in Boston, there was guys like Bergeron that were the main guys. So he has never really been the main guy on a team and had the chance to show that he is the true superstar on that team. And the reason that team, uh, you know, makes it fire. So, you know, his leadership and his defensive game and his work ethic are all in question for sure. Um, and that he's never won any awards and he's below a point per game. Those are all reasons that he sh might not be in the Hall of Fame and maybe shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. So the Hockey Hall of Fame uh, is one of the most prestigious honors that a, player, a hockey player can achieve. Uh, and it's, you know, it's only a, it's an exclusive class of players, guys like Gretzky and Lemieux and Bobby Orr and Nick Lidstrom, like just top players in their field, um, make it to the Hockey Hall of Fame. So Kessel, what has he also has going against him is the fact that guys like McGillney and Theo Fleury and fellow countrymen and Jeremy Roenick and Keith Kachuk have all not made it into the Hockey Hall of Fame. They all have stellar numbers. They all have many reasons why they should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Maybe they will be. Um, there's a little bit of controversy this past year, Key Carbono getting in because his numbers aren't that great. But he has the Selkie trophies and he's an ama amazingly defensive player. So that's the reason he got in. Now, Kessel obviously doesn't have that defensive ability and he doesn't necessarily have the point totals like a guy like Ronick might end up with. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens there. Um, personally, I don't think Phil Kessel is a Hockey Hall of Famer yet. He hasn't proven to me enough that he should be in the Hockey Hall of Fame. If his career ended today, he shouldn't be a Hockey Hall of Famer. And if he, you know, goes on a downward trend in points and stuff uh, for the next few years in the desert, I don't think he's a Hockey Hall of Famer. Now, the only way he can be a Hockey Hall of Famer, and I'm not putting it past him, you never know, is that, you know, playing with the Coyotes these next few seasons, he really steps it up. He really becomes a leader. Uh, he really puts a lot of points up and he drives this team into the playoffs. So if he can get this Coyotes team into the playoffs and he's the dominating offensive force on that team, and he can do it consistently for the next few years, then I, things might start to change. He's over that 1,000 games, over that 1,000 points, around 500 goals, two Stanley Cups, and he's been a superstar by himself on a Coyotes team. Then the question is, yeah, he probably should be a Hockey Hall of Famer. But as of right now, and my guess is that he won't be, but if he does that, I don't put it past him that he could do it. So anyways, Phil Kessel, very polarizing, as I've mentioned. I really want to hear what you think in the comments section. Uh, is he a Hockey Hall of Famer or not? And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.